it, Swansea? You got something new to chat with me about, right? Uh, Swansea? Oh, there you are. I got a little worried there, man. What news, Jonathan? I've heard you've now joined the vampire elite of London. Did Elizabeth tell you? So uh, it's Elizabeth ah. now. My, my. Things are moving quickly. I turn my back for a moment and away you go. All right, this is not the best angle, but it'll do. Uh, have you seen Lady Ashbury of late? Have you seen Lady Ashbury recently? Yes, she popped in yesterday. Told me about your new friends in the West End. Just a courtesy visit, then. Yes, and no. She was en route to the docks, I think. Following a lead concerning your maker. Oh, that's nice of her. Well, what's the situation here? How's the situation at the Pembroke? We're still holding out. Question is, for how long? What we really need is hope, Jonathan. Hope for a better tomorrow. Okay, still on that problem, aren't we? Uh, relationship with Doris Fletcher. I may have found the source of the contagion. Doris Fletcher, the actress. Thankfully, in the end, she was destroyed by fire. Really? Oh, please, do tell me more. Well, uh, she was a heavily mutated skull. Doris was a heavily mutated skull. Almost a new breed entirely. It's as if the disease had completely altered her mind and body. Highly contagious. As if the disease had taken control of her will? Yes. Once a beautiful and brilliant woman, she became motivated by hate alone. Oh, she was a beauty. I met her when she visited the hospital to cheer up the sick. Too bad the fire destroyed her. But it was probably for the best. That's probably how she saw her mother in the hospital bed. Uh, heard of similar cases like hers? Have you heard of similar cases? No, I don't think so. Except, perhaps, it reminds me of an old report from the Brotherhood. Well, more an article, really. What was it about? The author, a friar, referred to a rare form of contagion in a skull he observed during the Black Death. The carrier was always female. They called them i -cores. Oh, we read about that before, actually. So I guess she was an i -core. I'll come back later. Thank you, Edgar. Always a pleasure to see you, my friend. All right, so that was the breed of skull she was. She was an i -core that likes to spread diseases. Okay, so you know what? Now we're going to do that side mission to find our biological dad safe. You know what? Because I'm here, I'm going to sleep and cash in my points. Oh, that's not my bedroom. Okay. I'm going to take a nice little nap now. Let's cash in our points for the night. Should I get another ultimate move, you think? Or should I do that coagulation? Well, how much is it just for one round of coagulation? Only 600. Yeah, let's just give it a shot. It doesn't hurt to try it in battle once. And let's see. What's another ultimate move? Maybe I can afford it? Well, how much is one? It's gonna cost a thousand. I can afford it. Which one do I want? Let's do the Abyss. You create a shadow vortex at your target's feet, coming to life. The shadows interrupt an enemy in the area and inflict tremendous damage. I think I saw the big Volkhod. I still don't understand why we fought him down in the sewer. Some abilities are so powerful that even vampires fear them. Abyss is one of them. The vampire concentrates, summoning the shadows in their purest, darkest form. These shadows capture the vampire's prey and toys with it, like a cat with a mouse. After a brief moment, the shadows strike, impaling their prey. Because of its dark nature, this type of ability cannot be used often. Even a powerful vampire is terrified to be seized by the tendrils of darkness. Let's give this a shot. Test that out next time we're in battle. Since I can, I may as well just unlock one of everything. May as well, there might be achievement for that. I don't really use this stuff, but there. Now I have one of everything. Oh wait, no, I still don't have this. Screw it, we're gonna get it. It's the rage. You lose control and let the beast take over for a short time. The beast teleports itself around all enemies around you and strikes them with furious blows. Some abilities are so powerful that even vampires fear them. Rage is one of them. The vampire loses the controls and leashes the beast within to do their dirty work. The beast teleports on its targets around them, striking them with unaffected fury. Because of its dark nature, this type of ability cannot be used often. Just release the beast, my friend. It's more satisfying than you think. There we go. There we go. I unlocked one of everything. 
Didn't get an achievement for that, surprisingly, though. Let's do this. You trade more blood to heal yourself and gain an additional boost on your health regeneration. That sounds good. Good way to spend the last of my points. Well, no, I still have some left. Well, let's think of something I want. Well, more health never hurt anybody. I think that's enough. Time for bed. Oh, right. Uh, the statuses. Mmm, some people at the docks are now sick. But I think I was... I mean, Whitechapel, I mean. Uh, yeah, I could probably pop over and heal them real quick, though. Uh, someone in Whitechapel's also sick. I could pop over and say hi to him. And there's still this one woman here who's sick here in West End, but... Oh, that's really it. Alright, since those guys are done singing, let's move on to my dad's safe. Get in weapons ready! We found one! Ooh, this new saber's good! Damn! I didn't even need to try out my new abilities! I should equip my new abilities, though. Let's do, uh, that shadow thing I wanted. And instead of the blood shield, let's do that coagulate. Coagulate is three, so that's what we'll use. Here, use it on that. No? Didn't work? Uh, will it work on you? No, okay, that, that was kind of worthless, wasn't it? Probably just won't work for a very long time because it's very weak. I have no desire to keep that continually equipped. Let's put something else here. There we are. I got my invisibility back and I got my spear and my shadow ability. That seems good. I'm just killing everyone I see, by the way, because I know it gives me XP. Also because the saber is super OP, so I can easily wipe out like these little puny guys. Best be on your way home. No, I don't think so. I think you guys are off to die. Let's try my new shadow thing. Whoa! That just straight up murdered that man. Hello, madam. Please die. Oh, that wasn't enough for you. All right, up. You die too. And back off before she blows up. Ah, I'm back here at the docks, actually, and some people are sick around here, correct? Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna go around and heal people. That's Edwina Cox, Stella Fishburn, Martin Nightingale. Oh, wait, no, it's in Whitechapel that they're... Wait. No, I'm at the docks. I thought Martin Nightingale was, uh, in White... I'm so confused. Where the hell are we? Okay, we are at the docks. I thought you guys were in Whitechapel, though. No, I guess I was wrong. Okay. So, right, uh, Martin Nightingale, Archer Woodburn, don't know where hell he is, I only saw him once and then never again. Lottie Paxton and Ichabod Throgmorton. Let's see if I can find these people, I remember they're pretty spread out, actually. Hey, Edwina. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? I'm here to give you medicine. Can I offer you my medical help, Miss Cox? Giving out for free. You'd make a poor businessman, Dr. Reed. Well, I'm a doctor. Perhaps I would. Please, take this. You will feel better. Thank you. But don't expect me to owe you anything. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting that. Sean Hampton's shelter? Have you got any news about Sean Hampton's shelter? As long as he keeps on helping the poor, I'll keep my boys at bay. Even if he pisses them off. Uh, London's situation? Are you worried about the sanitary situation in London? The bodies are piling up, but I'm not afraid. I'm still alive, and I intend to stay that way. Yeah, as long as you don't get infected. Eh, we got nothing new to talk to you about. I also just want to know what you're selling. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Ah, aluminum part. That's actually what I wanted. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna... Oh, sorry, wrong button. I'm gonna buy them all from you. Alright, see you around, girl. Where even is this archer wood bead? I rescued him once, I remember a long time ago, and then I just never saw him again. And this place is just so big, I have no clue where to find him. Stay back, oh, stop, 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 
right! That's those guys! Sorry, forgot they can get very blindy. Okay. I'm on the other side of the bridge, so now I just need to... Okay, I know how to get there now. I need to get to the safe where my biological father left me a goodie. That actually sounds really wrong now that I say it out loud, but let's just roll with it. Uh, this is a safe. Is this what he meant? Oh! Expensive watch? That was it? Uh, does this watch have any more significance compared to other ones? It's not even in my inventory. Well, that was super anticlimactic. All I got was a fancy watch out of that. I don't even see it in my inventory. Yeah, and the mission's completely done. That was super disappointing. Okay. I guess I'll just move on. Man, killing just random people on the streets helped a lot. I got a lot of good XP out of that. I want to increase my blood capacity again, because healing now takes up more blood, so therefore I want to be able to carry more blood. Oh my god, this archer would whatever dude. Here he is. Hey, man. Good evening, sir. I'm amazed you made it back to the docks alone. Good for you. Well, I could say the same about you, young man. More to the point, who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I am Archer Woodbead. Please excuse my assertiveness. I often forget I'm just an old prune. It's cool, man, but I know you need uh, medicine. You need my medical attention, sir. Unfortunately, yes. The spirit is willing, but the flesh, well, you know. No, I don't, but here's medicine. Nobody is immune to disease. There's no need to be ashamed of that. Well, thank you, Doctor. Now maybe I'll live another day or two. Well, we can now talk to him. Oh, Sean Hampton Shelter? Do you have any recent news on Sean Hampton Shelter? The man is still here. He's trying to help others despite the terrible things he endured. I'm impressed. And worried about the London situation. Are you worried about the sanitary situation in London? I never thought I'd live to see the last days of London. Just another thing I was wrong about, I suppose. I guess. Uh, your life in London. This part of town? What can you tell me about this part of town? People used to feel safe around here. They had the gangs protecting them. Now all they do is bicker and plot against one another. The gangs protect them? Good old days? Missing the good old days, are you not? Trust me, son. The longer you live, the less meaning your existence will have. You need to remember the days you still had beliefs. I never believed in anything from the day I was born. So what about the gangs? And what about the gangs? Back in my day, people trusted the wet boot boys. We looked out for the docks and its families. Nowadays, they're just a bunch of greedy fuckers. You were a gang member. I was their leader for a time, believe what? it or not. Now these bastards act like I'm nothing. Not one of them. They owe me some damn respect. What the? That's a twist. Uh, Archer used to lead the Wet Boot Boys when they were a respectable gang. Okay, that is a shock to me. Let's keep talking about this, though. Stories about the docks? If you were such a respected figure, surely you have many interesting stories about this part of town. You bet I do, but make no mistake. I'm no rat, sir. Some secrets are best left buried. Agreed. People from those days, though? Do you still know anyone? From the old days, I mean. Most of them are dead. I still give Miss Gillingham salutations. She doesn't remember me. She did once like me. Boy, <laughs> she was a beauty back then. Yeah, sure. Let's not even go there. Uh, remarkable new faces? Any remarkable new faces around here? Nobody. Well, there's that boy Rufus the Curse. I like him, despite the reputation he's made since his parents died. Poor little bastard. Guy looks like he's 30 for crying out loud. Why do they keep on saying that he's a kid? When I look at him, I feel like he's like... Oh, God, I don't get it. I don't get the faces of this game. Uh, who do you trust around here? Who would here? you trust around here? The owner of the Turquoise Turtle's a decent fella. Tom's his name. Sean Hampton's all right, too. Don't particularly share his religious views. He's quite devout, if you catch my meaning. I already knew that. Trust me, I do. Uh, strange and weird people? I'm sure a district as colorful as the docks must have plenty of stories about strange visitors and creepy characters. So, you want me to talk about the sewer dog, don't you? If you don't mind. Yes. The sewer dog is a bitch. 
appropriately named, an old woman dressed in rags. She has an elegance, though. Despite her ugliness, I saw her once. Scared the life out of me. Are we ever going to see an actual sewer dog, or is it just supposed to be a random skull they're talking about? Uh, oh, I got a lot of things I could talk to you about your personal life. Have you always been so bitter, old man? Have you always been so bitter? It's not bitterness, it's poorly masked disgust. When everything turns to shit, we all have to eat a spoon or two. Blech. Uh, things will get better in the future, yeah right, things are difficult times. Old people always complain. Yeah man, these are difficult times. With everything that's happened recently, the war, Spanish flu, I must concede that these are difficult times. A few nights ago, I saw a kid eating a rat. He was right in front of one of those abandoned houses nearby. Just chewing on a living rat's insides. Yeah, people are desperate. Tell me about the wet boot boys, though. Tell me about the wet boot boys, Archer. I want to know more. We were there for the families and each other. It was us against the world. We were vicious, tough, even cruel. But we were united. You sound like you were some kind of radical union member. Yes, nowadays the communists and gangs squabble over pointless territory. Sounds stupid when you say it out loud. Ah, the whole thing is dumb. What do you know about the Pruin Guard? Tell me everything you know about the Guard of Pruin. Andrew never told me what they do. I do know they're vigilantes with military training. Access to some impressive firepower. And what is your personal opinion about the Guard, then? This Guard of Prewen is just another gang preying on the young and naive. Hell preying yeah. on people like my boy. I know how it works. I invented it. Okay, so, huh. Not the most noble guy, aren't you? Archer blames the Guard of Prewen for his son's disappearance. Uh, do we even have any idea who his kid is? Well, I know his name is Andrew, but I don't think we ever saw him, ever, and we don't really have an opening for him. Well, there's people here we haven't seen yet, so maybe one day we will see him. Why did your son really join the Prewin? Why did your son really join the Guard of Prewin? If I believed in a higher power, I'd see this as punishment for my own sins. I deserve it. For all the young men I enlisted back in the day. So why did he join? You don't believe in God, though, do you, Mr. Woodbeat? So why did he join? Now I think about it. Andrew joined the guard, not to defy me, but to follow in my footsteps. To make me proud. Okay, is that what he said? So your son has left you nothing to explain his actions. No letter or message. Not even a note. I'm a proud man, Dr. Reed, but I would kneel and pray if I thought it would give me my Andrew back. Aww, so you're not a bad dad. You're arguably a bad person, but not a bad dad. Goodbye, sir. Ah, oh, catch you around. I'm gonna make some more medicine before I move on. I just hoarded so much stuff that I can just keep on making more and more medicine. That's what you get for greedy, greedy SOB. You get to get all the goods. And I can now upgrade my saber, right? Yeah, to this thing. Increase damage dealt or increase blood absorption. Uh, let's do... Hmm. Damage dealt. Nice. Now it's a fully maxed out perfect spear. Five more aluminum parts and I can make a perfect Charlotte steak. Actually sounds delicious. Hey, that's just a Volcon just hanging out around here. Wasn't expecting that. I was thinking like Prewin guards. Now they don't wear shoes, I just noticed. I guess it's hard to find shoes that fit you when you have feet that gigantic. Well, rest in peace, buddy. So, uh, yeah. You can get one of these. Because I hate you. Ow! Jerk. Oh, that really didn't kill him the way I hoped. Ah, die. Alright, let's take care of him now. Oh, he's dead. Okay, good. Well, oh, there's Rodney, the guy we missed a hint on. Well, let's first heal him. Good evening, young man. There's no need to call me that, Dr. Reed. Uh, so, uh, you need a treatment young for man, fatigue. Do you require medical attention? I don't like asking for help, but I don't want to be one of those poor sods dying in the streets. Give him the medicine. There's no shame in asking for help. 
Especially when you are in desperate need of it. Here, take this. You should recover in no time. Thank you. I suppose. You're welcome. So, yeah, let's just run through the normal gambit. Have you heard anything recently concerning Sean Hampton's shelter? He keeps investing time helping the poor and sick. Good for him. And for them. And next thing? Are you feeling worried about the sanitary situation in London? This city is falling apart. The disease kills so many people. No one cares about anything or anyone anymore but themselves. Well, yeah, knew that already. Anything new? Nope. Okay, trade. Show me what you have to offer then, Mr. Nightingale. Does he have any aluminum parts? Yes, he does. He only has one, but I'll take it. And let's talk to this guy. I missed his clues, but Good whatever. Evening, sir. I'm glad to see you safe. I am not safe. I should never have come back here. My life is in danger. I know it. You're much safer here than in that contaminated area. Bullets kill people quicker than diseases and epidemics, Dr. Reed. All right, normal gambit. Do you have recent news of Sean Hampton's shelter? I heard he kept on helping people, but I tried to stay away from his shelter. I don't feel safe there. You're just a big worrywart, ain't ya? Uh, so, London situation. Are you worried about the sanitary situation in London? Not really. I've spent so many days hiding to escape retaliation from the wet boot boys. Now that there's so much chaos, they might forget about me. That's good for you, ain't it? So life in London, about this part of town. What can you tell me about this district? The East End Docks only knows one rule. Dog eat dog, and blood calls for blood. The gang will have their revenge on me one way or another. I think they already think they got revenge. Ronnie has fled away after killing a member of the Wet Boot Boys. Yeah, we already knew that. Local figures? What can you tell me about the locals? Most people would say that Sean Hampton and Tom Watts are good men who try to sort things out. But for me, the real boss around there was my best friend, Jack Gillingham. Jack Gillingham, you say? Everyone around there knew Jack. He was a rock. A mountain, even. He feared nothing. And he's dead. Yeah, you guys were friends. Ah, sad, sad, sad. Personal question time. Tell me more about your friend. Your friend Jack has something to do with you fleeing to the contaminated area where I found you. I want to know more. Jack is dead. That's all you need to know. Dead because of me. So much violence. So much sorrow. All of that because I refuse to be insulted again. You could not know. You only ignited a war about to start. Take responsibility and stop hiding. Yeah, I give up on trying to find more hints on this guy. Take responsibility. If you really believe you started all this mess, then face it. Take responsibility and stop hiding. Jack told me once that a real hero does not seek the ordeal. For it is the ordeal itself that reveals the true hero. I now know he was right. Yeah, figured that'd make me lose a hint. I really just don't care. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Grader. Take care. I will always hate the fact that this game took away your hints if you didn't get the right answer. I haven't seen. Wait, you gave away your son's watch? Uh... Miss Gillingham, why did you give Martin Nightingale the watch I returned to you? I I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I, I suppose I thought he needed a watch more than I did. I have no reason to really keep track of time anymore. You don't keep track of time? Why don't you need to keep track of time? I've spent my entire life marching to the tick of clocks and the ringing of bells. At my age, it's nice to finally be rid of those burdens. On my time. Okay, it was your son's watch, though. But it was your son's watch, Miss Gillingham. It was, wasn't it? I'm relieved you found it. Besides... It's more useful to him anyway. I wonder if he stole it now they think about it. Let's go Good find out. Gillian. Hey, buddy, so about that watch. Good evening, young man. There's no need to call me that, Dr. Reed. Nope, can't do anything about it. Let's just go. Goodbye. I'm not too sure where Throg Morton is, by the way. I thought he was around here, but evidently he's not. Well, I can't find Throgmorton, so I guess it's not really worth the effort to continue looking. The only people I know are sick or in Whitechapel or in the West End, and it's a bit of a walk to get there. So, uh, 
I guess I'll make way to the main story, unless I find something more interesting. You never know with me. You know, maybe Redgrave will tell me that Doris Fletcher wasn't, like, the start of the disease. That's always a theory. I mean, I don't know. I just, like I said, I just really feel like there's got to be something else to this. But let's just go for it. See what happens. Fingers crossed that something interesting happens. Well, we're at the Ascalon Club, and the bodies are still here. Like, no one has thought to clean this shit up yet. Actually, oh yeah, like, this guy's still here. Are you a vampire, dude? For as long as I've been a member, I've never seen so few vampires attending the club nights. Oh, you are a member. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Cool. Always a pleasure to see you, sir. I guess you're kind of low on the level, though, if you're here to greet people at the door. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Yeah, sure. Uh, before I go to... Ooh, money. Yeah, before I go to the Ascalon Club, I'm just compelled to loot real quick. I'll see you guys in a bit. I cannot enter. Was this door locked before? I don't remember if it was. It's been a while since I've been in the Ascalon Club. For me, at least, it's been a while. Uh, I guess I should just go on ahead up and just continue on with the story, though. I doubt things have really changed in this place all that much. Hey, Ascalon Club? Uh, okay. I guess I have to actually find him. Oh, wait, no, here he is, Redgrave. Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please, tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My I hypothesis guess? was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. Uh, okay, so confirms Doris Fletcher was the one who caused it all. Or at least this part of town, maybe? Let's just talk to him and find out more. But first, I'm just a doctor. Some questions remain. I did my best. Well, some questions remain. But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's Me too. time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit what? a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Ekon he deserves to be. Uh, didn't he say he didn't want to be one, though? Well, as you wish, I can't- I'm not sure. I'm not so sure about this, man. I'm not sure I'm the best candidate for such a task. I can hear the hesitation in your voice, Dr. Reed. I admire a man of principles. But in this matter, there is more at stake than your moral comfort. It's not a moral question, Lord Redgrave. It's the responsibility of giving immortality to a man I barely know. Nonsense. Aloysius has been a member of the Ascalon for years. This is but the fruition of a long-held plan. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson Estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. But didn't he say that's not what he wanted, though? I could have sworn we had a conversation with him, and he said that he wasn't all that interested in being a vampire. Maybe I misinterpreted what he said or misremembering something? Well, I have questions. Before I go, I have a few questions. All right, I'm listening. Well, tell me more about Dawson. Why Aloysius Dawson? Because he is about to die. And he just may be the most influential man in England. After me, of course. Sure, I can believe that. He's very rich and you are very powerful. Uh, did he choose me to turn him? Did he choose me? No, I did. My decision is very recent, to say the least, but it is entirely mine. Well, I am honored then, Lord Redgrave, you sexist pig. Uh, does he know I'm coming for him, though? Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Dr. Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. That is still very sad to me. Uh, but... Hey, what about Lady Ashbury? 
You invited Lady Asprey. Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? No women allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So it's a temporary admittance. Then. Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. So wait, Lady Ashbury's coming to uh, the Ascalon Club just to like see me do something? Or like for like the celebration of me turning someone into a vampire? You know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to question this. So uh, how should I proceed with this? How would you like me to proceed? Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. Uh, so I just, like, give him my blood? So shall I just let him drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully suck on your blood. Yeah. His heart will slow, then stop. But he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. Okay, yeah. When did Mary drink our blood? I don't know. Let's not overthink this, me. Uh, any danger to this? Well, we obviously know the danger. Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die for good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. How does one prepare themselves for something like this, though? To reduce the risk of a bad transformation like that girl the friend of uh sorry i'm blanking out on lady ashbury's daughter charlotte the friend of charlotte how Goodbye, does one prepare for that oh i hit the wrong button sorry understandably you have questions very well proceed uh wait i thought i had to hit the yellow thing uh, i guess not goodbye lord redgrave uh yeah it just says reach the temple church entrance here let's just see uh Okay, yeah. I see no reason to dilly-dally anymore in this game, I suppose. It's been going on for a while. Oh, I can talk to you? Good Never mind. Read. Have a drink and enjoy this night, for it could be our last. Right, because the Great Hunt. Perhaps we should change some of the club's rules if we survive all of this. We need to soften some of our laws concerning redheads. Oh, you are considering letting Lenny Ashbury join. Honestly, that would be smart. I personally went patrolling last night in the West End, and I spotted at least two foreign echoes. This is an outrage. We shall chase these intruders down. Okay, so we are now not only sexist, we are also racist. So, uh... Alright, we're still on the same level as we were before. Have you heard the rumors of some, some horned vampire revealing himself and singing obscure songs around the city? What is this new malevolence? Now, by revealing himself, do you mean he just kind of shows up like an apparition, like, the way my daddy does? Or are you talking about revealing in the way, like, a guy opens up his trench coat in public? Because if that case, those are two totally different scenarios, and I actually really want to know the difference, uh, what you, what you are seeing. I, I personally went patrolling his Oh, wait, are you what? All right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? A little uneasy, I have to say, because I've never purposefully done this before. He'll be a handy resource, I won't do it. Well, I want your advice on this. I'd like your like advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you his task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I yes! Think, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless black guy like Aloysius Dorset will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead in his mind. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man out of by himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Ooh. Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage. Oh. Creating skulls. Oh, so we are better than him if that's the case. Well, better him in terms of vampirism. Let's ask her more questions. Please tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. Yeah, can we really do this inside this place? Can we not just wait until we get to her place for this? Well, Alicia Do Dawson, tell me more. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Don't make him a progeny. 
What would you do? Dying already. Let the Reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. So just let him die organically? Or like, try to figure out to make it look organic? I mean, I'd follow your advice, girl. I won't turn him if you don't think it's a good idea. Uh, so, making Dawson an Ekon, are you gonna tell me more about that? What would happen if I made Dawson an Ekon like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. I guess I really misinterpreted what he said to us earlier in this series. I thought he said he wasn't too interested or too keen. Or not specifically said that, just said he wasn't, I don't know. But I'm overthinking things as per usual. Tell me about Lord Redgrave. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's yeah, I lie. never believed him. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls if the poor soul survives at all. Well, how do you know? How can you be sure the information is correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. That is... I do want to know who his real maker is. Because I honestly never bought from the get-go that his maker was someone so powerful. Someone who really hammers home something about... I don't know. Like, if something's true, you don't feel inclined to constantly repeat it. You say it once and, you know, it's the truth. You don't feel the need to constantly say it again over and over unprompted. Because it's real. But if something's not true... Then you feel the need to constantly repeat it, even if nobody's asking. So yeah, I didn't believe him from the get-go just because of that. Why are you so vindictive about this, though? Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound, sound like, like you're angry. Forgive, Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself, myself for it, but I feel I such pride in my discovery. discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, yes the blood he covers as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he, but he was never his progeny. His lineage is not, not so known. I wonder who his maker really is then, if that's the case. Well, that's all I can talk to you about. Goodbye for now, Miss Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please, please be careful. Uh, I'll be as careful as I possibly can as a moral vampire about to walk headfirst into death. Also, I just noticed you wear pants, not dresses. Very stazzy of you, girl. Love your boots, by the way. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. I'm just going to take a look at my side missions real quick, because I don't think, yeah, there really isn't anything to do in terms of my side missions. I'll just stick to the main story, I suppose, for a while now. It looks also, like vampires oh, have to obey yeah. Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sign him. I don't fully understand that, but I just noticed that this is a shop I can go into and there's a dude I can talk to, even though I said I'd be following the main story. Easily distracted. Let's talk to the guy with the beard. Good evening, sir. Oh, Please yes, he looks perfect. I love him already. I'm, I'm I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Alcal Kuras, and I welcome you. Well, I, I love you. To receive a warm welcome for once. I'm, I'm Doctor. I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Doctor Reed. Reed. Well, welcome, welcome to my home shop. I love everything about this guy. I love his top hat. I love his monocle. I love his handlebar mustache that accompanies with his beard and his completely subtle or not so subtle well-to-do getup. I love everything about this man. Do you need medical help, sir? No, you're healthy, dude. Even if I mess up hints on you, I love you already. I will do whatever I can to keep you alive. Tell me about your life in London, my friend. Tell me about the neighborhood. How is, How is the situation? situation in this part of town? Life is good and peaceful. We're lucky to live in such, such an era of progress and wonders. Are you uh, concerned about the epidemic? Oh, I'm yeah. sure the authorities would take the appropriate measures if they were to die. Okay, so you kind of live in your own fantasy world, don't you? It's false, don't be naive, are you that blind? 
Hey man, don't be so naive. You cannot expect the newspaper to expose the truth while the war is still raging. I can assure you that the situation is desperate. Well, that you knew then. But I can't believe that things are that bad. bad. Are you sure you're not dead? The thrill of it. Oh, I actually got a hint on this. Uh, what's, how do you pronounce his name again? Callahoon? Callahan? Well, I'm just gonna call him Russell. Russell does not consider the seriousness or dangerousness of the epidemic. Well, why would you even think about something that bad when you look this good? Just think about it, people. And look at it, too. It's wonderful. Uh, is it not too late to trade? Yeah, because I can trade with you, evidently. Is it not too late to be trading? On the contrary, it is perfect. Believe me, my friend, it is always at night that you meet the most fascinating Sure, I mean, you're meeting me right now, a vampire. So, yeah, isn't that a little too dangerous for you, my friend? But what about the epidemic? The bombs and raids. And all the random violence. Please, sir. This is London, England. We will build a fail. And if a bomb must fall on my shop, then I'll be there to get it falling. I mean, yeah, I mean, not much you could do if you're already here, you fall. You may as well just accept fate at that point. As dark as that is. Uh, so I guess you just like the nightlife, though, my friend. So you prefer to work at night. Oh, I also enjoy a sunny day like everybody else. But the night always has certain genesis. I don't know what that expression or word means, and I'm too lazy to Google it. What about the local news? What can you tell me about this place? I recently found the best mistake they can give me in the city. Yeah. I'd be glad to share the message. Is this a Sweeney Todd reference? I know about Sweeney Todd, at least. Uh, is all the food interest you, though? Finding a good restaurant. Is that really, really all that interests you? Oh, I have many, many, many passions. But nothing brings me ecstasy like like a subtle and exquisite a labor from my mighty to my belly. Well, he's a man who likes what he wants. Yes, you like good restaurants, restaurants and succulent tables. I, I, tables? I, I don't know why succulent tables is a word put together, or a sentence put together. It doesn't make much sense to me. But yeah, you know what? I'm already liking this dude. Like I said, he looks good and he doesn't care about things. Uh, any specific tastes? I must, I must confess, be. I have quite specific tastes when it comes to nutrition. Really? Well, well I like this guy's hat right by you. Exotic meals. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> please, share the address. Oh, table is just another word for restaurants. Oh, you gotta find a restaurant for him. Any personal questions? Oh, you have any family, my dude? Do you have any family nearby? Not since my parents died. Aww. I'm London's lolo local maid. Aww, now I feel sad for him. Are you lonely? Really? But you seem to be such a pleasant person. So sociable. I'm afraid we really have had to be silent. I discovered that I have access to all of the pleasure, but I don't know if you can't ever be shared. That's way too complicated for me to understand. But I'm glad you're at least somewhat happy. I guess I don't know. So London's Lorne Gourmet. London's Lorne Gourmet. I used that name in my early days when I was a food critic. Oh, you actually were a food critic, like for real. So when you go to like new restaurants and whatnot, it's not just because you like it, it's because it was like actually a job of yours at some point. That's interesting. Uh, before I, oh, you know what? What do you know about Olusius Dawson? Do you know anything about a man called Olusius Dawson? Olusius. He used to be a big vendor. One day, he sent a real convoy by all the Beluka who were in my shop. Beluka? His brother's birthday. I see. Anything, Anything else? else? Less, less gas, 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 I really, really can't say. say. The man the is filthy rich. rich. But you know no that, of course. Yeah, well, let's see what he has in his shop. I may have a good, 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 good story to us. Let's see. Lead plate. Well, I'll just look through his stuff, see if there's anything here of note. I'll catch you guys in a bit.